Okay, listen, you can laugh as much as you want about meme coins, dog with hat, the cats, whatever else you want. But the reality is that more money has been made on meme coins than in any other sector in crypto in this bull market. So you cannot ignore meme coins anymore. The only problem is if you're like me, you have no idea where to start. You have no idea what the next meme coin is going to be. You have no idea who's going to explode and we're just going to throw your money away. So what do we do when we get to situations like this? We bring in four meme coin absolute degens. Now these guys are degen, degen, degen as can be, and they are the best meme coin experts that I could find. And today we're going to degen into meme coins and there's no time limit. We're just going to degen and degen and degen until we squeeze every single meme coin out of these guys. So today is going to be a dirty show today is going to be a dj show today is going to be one of those shows where if we hit it right we're making life-changing money on cats with hats cats with fleas dogs with hats i don't know let's see where we get where we make our money so let's go guys Tell you one thing, I'm so excited for the show. I'll tell you, I'm completely out of my league here. This is, I don't trade meme coins. I'm, but every single one in the office, every single person in the office around me is making life-changing money on meme coins that I kind of feel like I'm getting left out. And I can see that I'm not the only one that's exciting here, excited here. The chat is going absolutely, absolutely crazy. Someone says, Baby Bonk. We are going to talk about Baby Bonk because they are the most degen community on BSC. They're BSC's favorite dog. Um, they've even released a game, which I think is called Bonk Royale, if I'm not mistaken. Let's have a look here. Uh, yes, this is the game over here. So you can see there's the Bonk Royale game. We're definitely going to talk about them because they are one of the sponsors of our show. They also reached a $20 million market cap. So this is a, a big thing. We're going to talk about serious, serious, serious degen meme coins today, guys. And you need to know before we start the show, you can make life-changing money in meme coins. In fact, meme coins have been the ultimate return generator in this bull market. N no other sector, not AI, not Deepin, nothing has come close to, to, to meme coins, this sector. And it could continue. It could continue. But you need to know, trading meme coins is extremely risky. And if the market crashes, the meme coins are going to crash just as hard as they went up. So by getting into meme coins, you know that you are a dirty, filthy degen. And when you do the trades, you have to wash your hands afterwards. That's how dirty, filthy degen we are here today. But that's why we've got to bring you this alpha because we cannot ignore the sector anymore. So listen, before we start the show, Remember that if you're not already subscribed to Crypto Banter Plus, this is where we bring you the DGEN content. Subscribe now, join the best community in the world. And remember by subscribing, you actually get a free entry into the banter bags. Now, what is the banter bags? For those of you who don't know, this is where we get pre-IDO allocations that do sometimes 100X and 200X. And we give, we put them into a bag. And when we get to 350,000 subscribers on Banter Plus and a million subscribers on Banter, and we're very, very, very close. We're going to give away the banter bags to the community. All you need to do to be part of the banter bags, subscribe to Banter Plus, subscribe to Banter, and get any exchange account with any one of our exchange links, and then we can pay you into that account. So listen, without any further ado, as I said to you, I'm not a meme coin expert. You know I'm not a meme coin expert. Someone says talk dirty, run. Today I'm going to talk so dirty to you guys, but I'm not going to be the one talking dirty. I've got four of the biggest legends in meme coin, meme coin crypto. There's, there, there are no, there are no, I've got three of them. There are no better legends out there. So without any further ado, I want to bring in the legends. Uh, the guy here on my on my left, right, whatever you see, his name is Gustavo. He's actually one of our researchers and he's making videos on crypto banter. Now, let me tell you guys, this guy is the filthiest fucking DJ you've ever seen. He has made more money. Gustavo, how much money have you made on cats and dogs, bro? Be honest. I, I've turned a couple thousand bucks into a multiple uh, six figures. Wow, 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 wow. And it's not about to stop. Mostly whole, cats. Mostly cats. The whole office is completely obsessed. When Gustavo calls something on the research call, or when Gustavo calls something in, in the Discord, or when Gustavo calls something on the, 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 the management group, the whole company stops and trades. It's, he's become like this, this, this uh, prolific meme coin trader. Then we've got a regular on the show, someone who has been here before. We've got po Poe, he's here. And then we've got Eric Stevens, who's new. Guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited about the show. Uh, I'm a bit nervous, but I'm also excited because I'm completely out of my depth. Okay, I need to understand, I need to, before we start the show, I read this and to me, it seemed like a reasonable explanation of why meme coins are exploding. So I want to read it to you guys, and I want you guys to tell me if this is how you feel about meme coins. This is a tweet from Andrew Kang. He says, we are going to reach some serious levels of mental retardation for meme coins this cycle. 
Think of the meme coin ecosystem as essentially a skill-based global lottery platform. Players get to decide which lottery brand they want to buy tickets in, but the payouts and odds aren't the same. That's where the skill comes in. The jackpot winners don't come from pure luck, but an ability and everyone believes that they can find the next winner. And the more people that they can get to buy the same ticket as them, the more likely they are to win with their friends. That's the best feeling in the world, winning together. It's a multiplayer money game with virality built in. Study the scale of the traditional lottery industry. It is generated it generated 300 billion in sales in 2020 with half the population of the US playing. Now imagine the valuation of meme coins if a capital injection of that scale were to flow into them. Last cycle was actually a test pump for meme coins, kind of like Bitcoin's test run from 100 to 1,000. This time we get to play the real pump after there's been a cycle proving the product market fit, how they've changed lives and the increase of global acceptance. I believe that meme coins are going to outperform everything else in crypto by a wide margin. The mashers won't care about the fourth liquid restaking derivative or whatever fancy new technology that results in. They won't fall for the 10,000th DeFi farm which even retail know are, are self-referential Ponzi schemes like House of Cards. Meme coins are just much more pure upfront uh, speculative vehicle. Those that are overweight DeFi and L1s at a, at a massive underperformance risk could very well see ETH moving 50% from where it is, but meme coins will be 5 to 100x bigger in size. Is this what it's all about? Yes, I love this. I, I love that guy. I 100% agree with him. I checked even his VC firm and uh, some of his investments. And so he's like a very serious investor, super respected in this industry. And he gets it. Raul also gets it. He understands it. And yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's gambling. But there's strategies. And there's, uh, of course, there, there's a strategy you can adopt to make really easy and quick gains like 10Xs and 50Xs in a week, sometimes even in a day. And yeah, I 100% fully agree. Okay, I've got to ask you a question before we go, I'll go on to the other guys. When you look at a meme coin, is it a trade or is it an investment? Be honest with me. Is it a trade or is it an investment? Gustavo? Should I go first? Yeah, Gustavo, is it a trade or an investment? It, it's, it's obviously a trade, of course. But this could be seen as swing trades. For example, the people who made the most money on WIF, they've been holding it for how many months now? For example, I held Mog, which I think is one of the best memes which competes a little bit with uh, Harry Potter, Obama, Sonic Tenny New, which I see Eric has a Sproto, so he's probably invested. I also love uh, that meme coin. But I held Mog for like six months until I saw like real gains. And so swing trades, multi-month trades, that's how I see it. Are you going to hold any meme coins into the next cycle? No. No. All right, Eric, what, what are your thoughts? I mean, are meme coins investments or are they just trades? Can you invest in a meme coin or do you just trade? And guys, I see that you guys are going crazy in the chat. Smash the like button if you're here. Let's get everybody here. We are on Banter Plus. It is our new channel. We are trying to get more DGen content on Banter Plus. We need you guys all here and we need everybody to subscribe. We need everybody to subscribe. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Eric, uh, is a meme coin a trade or is it an investment? Be honest. Um, I would say it can be either. Uh, more often than not, it's definitely a trade. However, to uh, Gustavo's point, he held MOG for a long time, which I'm also a holder of. I used to be a much larger holder in MOG. Unfortunately, uh, that isn't the case anymore. Um, but yeah, for example, you look at my PFP, uh, which uh, it spawned from uh, Harry Potter, Obama, Sonic 10, Inu. I've been holding that thing for months. I currently have a $5 million bag on that. And uh, some sorry, of Sorry, sorry, you have a... Sorry, whoa, 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 whoa. You have a how much million dollar bag? <laughs> yeah, five million. Well, to be exact, four point uh, eight million dollars. I'm the number two Absolute holder. G. Wait, wait, slowly. Yeah, you have a four, five million dollar bag in which token? Uh, Harry Bo Harry Potter, Sonic Obama, Ten Inu. And what is the market cap of Harry Potter, Sonic Obama? Well, what is the the, the full <laughs> Harry Potter, uh, Obama, Sonic Ten Inu? Yeah. Whoa, Let's whoa, see. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, 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 it's going to be around, let's say. Here we go. Uh, I'm, I'm calling it up here. I'm calling it up here on, uh, on it, it has a $209 million market cap and $5 million of that is sitting in your wallet. Correct. Correct. Well, how much, did you, how much did you pay for that $5 million? How much did you pay for that position? Uh, I don't know. You know, I've been buying over the course of months. Definitely not anywhere near as much as the value of uh, my current position. Um, but uh, what have you but, made a ten yeah, x? Have you made a ten x? Have you made a hundred x? Have you made a thousand x? Just oh, give me like, well over a hundred x. 
Holy shit. So you put in less than fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, I would I would imagine so, yeah. And you're holding five million dollars of this token. Uh correct. What the fuck am I doing wrong? What I mean, I'm sitting here analyzing tokens, research team. You put fifty thousand dollars into Harry Potter, Obama, Sonic, Inu, and you got a five million dollar bag. Uh, correct. Max Payne left curve makes all the gains. Holy shit! Okay, so uh, Poe, how do I pronounce it? Poe, Poo? I don't know. How do I pronounce it? Oh, oh, it's pronounced Poe. Po. Hi, Ren. How are you? Good. Good to see you again, my friend. Well, good to good to see your avatar again. Uh, do you have any five million dollar bags? To have me back. Do you have any five million dollar uh, bags I that I should know right about? Now, I have a, a two million dollar bag. I have a whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. dollar bag. The, the two million dollar bag. W w where is that bag? W what token is it in? That's that's on, that's on Brett on based on based. Yeah, okay, I'm also an uh, investor. Based. I'm also an investor of 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 uh, 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 based Brett. Um, so hold on, let me just get it, get you guys back here. I'm also an investor of on base Brett. Tell me a little bit about why you like base Brett. I liked, I'll tell you what I liked it. Um, I liked it because it was on, um, uh, uh, it was on, on, on optimism. And for me, I think that the Coinbase thing on optimism is, is the, in, the, using Coinbase as the entry point. This could easily become the people's meme. That's why I invested in this token. Keen to understand yeah, why so you invested. I, I'm, I'm uh, so I invested on it because it was it was like I, I'm very well aware on how memes work and how you know DJs think, and right now we have Pepe as the largest um, the largest meme on Ethereum right now. Uh, well, not the largest. I mean the current newest largest. I mean you know we have Shiba, uh, we have Shiba Inu, which is obviously the largest. But now uh, Pepe is slowly creeping up to Shib, and it's going to be replacing it. So Brett is uh, is Pepe's best friend, and he's on base chain. Base chain doesn't have that many memes running right now. Yes. Brett is probably the largest, if not is the largest uh, meme on that chain. So it just made sense to me that it would be an obvious trade. But what are we all, why are we all holding Brett on base? Because base is Coinbase's main chain. And obviously all these large institutions are going to be supporting memes this next bull cycle. And they all want to have that front runner Pepe that's going to be on their chain where they can flex, hey, we have the largest meme here. So in so my wait, opinion... So if that and all speculation, obviously, we're all speculating. Nothing is uh, for certain, but you know this is where this is going. Okay, so I've got to ask you a question. I look at this. Uh, I look at this. It's gone up fourteen thousand percent since twenty sixth of February. So in two weeks, it's gone up fourteen thousand percent. The market cap is two hundred million dollars. Yeah. Is have, have I best, missed one of the first? Have I have I missed the boat yet? To go that high? Definitely not. Uh, no, I don't think you missed the boat. Definitely not. Uh, if you look at the chart, people are holding. This is when you when you look at a meme coin, you want to ask yourself: Are people holding? Is it continuing on a on a on an uptrend, and is it left curving? And you can look at this chart and say, okay, the people that are holding this, they really believe, they really do. There's ten thousand holders. When you buy a chart, like, it's got ten thousand yeah, holders. Yeah, when you, there, buy, there when it you is. buy charts, when you buy charts at two hundred million, you these things don't go straight to zero. You know, there's a there's a ton of volume on them. It's a much I would say it's a much less risk than if you would buy something at let's say one million or five million dollar market cap or ten million dollar market cap. Gustavo, what do you think? What do you think on uh, on uh, of base? I Brett? like Brett. You like it? I like it. I think I think base is one of the best chains to invest in meme coins. Base, Ton, uh, ETH, and obviously Solana. Because why? Because they can onboard tens of millions of people, and so everyone that that uses the Coinbase app. We'll go on to base and they'll see Brett. It's all, I think it was created by Matt Fury, right? The guy that uh, designed Pepe. Uh, Matt Fury, yeah. Matt Fury was the creator yeah. of Pepe. And He's Brett a legend. One of, also one of his characters. I also just want to add that some fucking, oh, excuse my language, some no. Chad added $2 million worth of liquidity to Brett. $2 million. This, uh, million. Just today. Crazy. $2 okay, million so this one. Liquidity, so, that, so this one we're going to say. Price. This one we're going to say, look, it is at a $200 million market cap. You guys are all telling me that it still potentially has upside. It has 10 million holders and it's got great liquidity. It's on the uh, base chain, which we which we we think is a is a is a good place to be because it's got a good good onboarding. All right, let's go into some more degen 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 plays. Let me let me take you one to a basic one. So let's go to uh, Woof. Woof has got a $2 billion market cap now. Uh, it's had an incredible, incredible run. It's got a, a, a market cap that is five times, three times bigger than Spirit Airlines, actually. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Question. Have I missed the boat? 
Or, or can I still be buying um, this thing? I, I don't. I don't think you missed the boat on Whiff. I, I, uh, I got in with what I thought was late. I started tweeting about it. If you, if you run down my timeline, I got in around fifty mil, and I was like, you know what? You know, I like it here. Sometimes you have to like swallow your pride and say, okay, it's at fifty mil. Maybe I don't have the biggest bag as you know, big bags like everyone else. But you know, if I throw in, you know, I, I started throwing in around ten, fifteen thousand dollars around fifty mil, and, and my bags up tremendously since. You know. Uh, but now you look at other coins, you know, like Shiba, can I, Shiba can I, Inu. Can I ask you? Can, Poe, can I ask you, know? you a question? Can I ask you a these, question? These coins run. Yeah. Can I ask you yeah. a question? How much money have you made on meme coins? Be honest. Like, just I, I need to. Um, I, I, no one knows who you are, so it's not like okay. you're going to dox yourself. But just tell me how much money have you made on meme coins? Uh, like, on meme coins. What are the numbers here? So what the last the last time we spoke, I was uh, I made I was already up my first million. Uh, I would say today around my portfolio, ballpark numbers with unrealized gains. I'm talking like with Ethereum, yeah. all the Ethereum that I'm holding, the Solana that I'm holding. Uh, I'm holding a lot of I and J. No, but just tell me, just the meme uh, coins. Just tell me the meme coins. Just okay, tell me the meme coins. I'll, I'll start out my portfolio with, with three Ethereum, uh, $15,000 $15, I would say at the time. Right now I'm close to uh, almost eight figures. Very close to breaking eight figures within the last year. I mean, I, 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 I mean, what am I doing here? I mean, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. Eric, just give me a number. No one knows who you are. Just give me a number. Yeah, I would say, and funny thing for me is I was dead broke like eight months ago. So just like yourself, my, my background was in DeFi. For the longest time, I was fading meme coins. I miss Doge. I miss SHIB. I miss Safe Moon. My friends were telling me, get into these things. I was like, absolutely fucking not. Why the hell would I ever buy something like that? You're stupid. You're going to lose all your money. And before I ever traded uh, meme coins or not meme coins, before I ever traded crypto, I was invested in the stock market. And so once I saw that meme fi phenomenon bleed over to the stock market, at that point, I said, OK, there's something here. And I started focusing on this and I got wrecked. I lost all my money that I had made on these DeFi L1 protocols and all that stuff that, you know, all the, the boomers love. And uh, yeah, I found myself broke. I would make money, lose money. And I just went on this epic run. In the last eight months, I've done well over eight figures. Well over eight figures. Correct. When, when you talk about eight figures, you're talking about $10 million plus. Just, I just want to make sure that when, when I say eight figures and you say eight figures, it's the same eight figures. Correct. Correct. So, uh, Man. yeah, I mean, a lot of... Okay, I'm, I'm all yours. Okay, I'm all yours. Uh, listen, guys, by the way, um, Gustavo is a researcher at Crypto Banter. He is gonna. He has his own show. He's starting to now stream his own show. He's gonna be doing meme coins. He's gonna be doing airdrops and stuff like that. So look out for him. He's gonna be on this channel. He's gonna be on the main channel. Uh, look out for him. You're gonna see a lot more of Gustavo. Uh, I'm not gonna. I know because Gustavo's doxed. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna ask him to tell us how much money he's made. I, I don't think. I think the other guys aren't doxed. I think it's pretty good. But when, when someone is doxed, I think it introduces security risk. All right, let's talk more memes. I'm putting the ball in your court now. Uh, I'm putting the ball in your court. I think should we maybe start off with the cats because it sounds like we've had dog season, now it's cat season, or am I wrong? It's cat season 100% right now. Even even Ansem was uh, talking about it, uh, definitely. I mean, Hemule on Ethereum, Vitalik's cat. We have uh, Vibing cat on Solana. You have Taylor Swift's cat uh, called Benji on uh, Solana. You think millions of women that are going to enter crypto, they're not going to buy Taylor Swift's cat? Of course they are. It's the first thing they're going to buy, was, <laughs> of course. So these are the things I'm bidding. Okay, so let's look, get... let's look at Emule. Okay. Emule's up 5,000% uh, in the last, yeah. since January 24th, 50x. Yes, Market... I, got, I got like I'm a actually, 50x on it. I'm actually holding a very big bag of Emule. It's one of, uh, I, called, I called that on my, on my, if you follow my Twitter, my follow my call channel, I've been calling a lot of these memes early. I think I called Emule at around $5, 000, uh, $5 million market cap. And uh, it, it did have a long time where it did go down, but then eventually, you know, the community started buying it up. And it, it takes these these coins take months to get there. These coins take exactly. months to get there. But if you find a good narrative, you find a good community of people who believe these things eventually will go up. Sixty three million dollar market cap, so much smaller than the ones that we've seen. Um, yes. Yes. Yeah. So sixty three million dollars. Potential. Potential is insane, me and. Uh, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Rand. A lot of people's a lot of people's big mistake is that they think they're late. But going into a bull run, 
nothing is late before 1 billion sometimes it's crazy you get in at 5 10 15 20 million dollar market cap even 100 million you're seeing coins like pepe go to 3.6 billion and you see sheep at 20 where it was i think the all time high was in, I, I think i don't know 60 billion you know the x's the x's are there man and let me tell you something about meme coins less bull cycle a lot of people a lot of retail was coping oh that guy turned uh 500 bucks into 100 million on shiba inu they're all going to be coping they're all going to be bidding this time way harder than they bid last cycle so i think so meme coins are we've really going to take yeah this, so we've got ten thousand we've got seven seven thousand five hundred holders 65 million dollar market cap this is vitalik's cat i'm assuming vitalik's cat is on eth right i mean you couldn't put vitalik's cat on solana yes oh, yeah, okay yeah. Okay. Yeah, All right. What other cats do we like? What other? I mean, yeah. Which other cats do we like? I'm gonna leave it in your hands. What, what, I love uh, LP Degen, like l lower market cap. Yes, right yes. Now, yeah. There's more El Gato uh, that I'm in. <laughs> posing as well, I believe. El Gato uh, yeah, is it on yeah, Soul? Is, is it this El, one here? El is it this one here on Soul? Correct. That's on Soul. Two point seven million dollar market cap. Two and a half um, yes. thousand holders. That's quite. I mean, that's amazing. That's a two. That's a that's a market cap of two point two point seven million dollars, and it's got a two two point five thousand holders. I mean, that's that's a good ratio, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So you know, like everything that we've mentioned for the most part has been up there in the hundreds of million dollar market caps. And and like Post said, the mistake that a lot of people make is that they feel that they're too late. Um, but I think that we have to dream bigger. Meme coins are going to take center stage, but there is definitely a market for people who want to invest in things at a smaller market cap. They just feel comfortable with that. Psychologically, it just feels better to them. And so this, for me, uh, when we're talking about those lower market cap cat plays, this is the best El Gato, the cat that's still standing. El okay. Gato just means... G um, Gustavo, what do you what do you think of like, uh, El Gato? I think awesome. I think it's great. I also have another cat on Solana that's around the same market cap. It's called Vibing Cat. Vibing it's based cat. off this meme. Yeah, based off this meme that is it's huge on uh, TikTok. What do you think every single kid that's on TikTok when they enter? What what are they going to buy? Obviously, they're going to buy the stuff that they recognize. So stuff like Vcat, Vibing Cat. Okay, it's now like that meme of the cat going like this. Uh, hold on, I gotta find the meme. Uh, where do I find the meme? I want to see the meme. Hold on, I'm gonna Google uh, vibing, vibing cat, vibing cat meme, vibing. Yes. Uh, Fuck, I yeah, feel like a great I place to search memes is knowyourmeme.com. Oh, so this is this is the token of this cat. Yeah. I know this cat. So this is this is the token of this cat. So it's it's vibing cat is is the token of of this this cat. Yes. Okay. Yes. Represents the meme. Okay, amazing. Well, I, amazing. Want, I want to touch. On, I want. Uh, Ran, I want to touch on what Gus just said. Uh, it's it's very important, and what he said was go uh, knowyourmeme.com is a great place to study memes. But it's very important when going into a meme season to really understand memes. You need to really study memes and how they work, why they're bullish, and how people outside of crypto can relate to a meme. At, essentially, what what are we doing here? We're buying up these memes so that when retail comes. They're going to look for the familiar memes that they like. They're going to look for the memes where they could go on Twitter and they see guys like me or Eric. We're posting these memes all day with captions and we're making people laugh. And people want to follow that and do the same thing. They want to shit post on Twitter. So it's very important when you're aping meme coins, you have to look at it and say, is this funny? Is it going to make me laugh? And do other people know this meme? All right. With that in mind, give me another so, one and then we can make a judgment. So let, give me another one and then let's see if we, if we can make a judgment. One can, that you like. Can I say, can I say yeah. one? Yes. One that I, I actually don't hold, uh, it's called Zin, but it seems like it's a boomer meme that has something to do with Nick. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I lost the guy. We need to study boomer memes as well. It's not. It's not a boomer meme. It's a Gen Z meme. Zin is a uh, a nicotine product that you put in your mouth. It's kind of yes. like chewing tobacco, but you don't chew on it. It's like a little pillow with nicotine in it. You put it in your mouth, and all the teen, you know, all the young boys are doing it right now, and there's a big culture on it. You know, a, bit, a lot of big YouTubers like the Nelk Boys have been promoting this yeah. product. And a lot of people that quit smoking or quit vaping, they started using Zin. So, you know, Zin's a cool one. How do you spell Zin? How do you spell Zin? Z-I-N or Z-Y-N? Or what is it? Z-Y-N-N. Z-Y-N-N. -N. Okay. So it's this. This is the, I'm looking again. I'm on the, I'm on the, the Zinnies. That's it. That's, the, that's Zin. 
right? This is the this is see. the there yeah, yeah. There's there's a whole there's a whole culture of upper decky and like all these guys are like how they how they consume their zins. It, it's a big culture. It's a very big culture online. All right, before we go any further, just guys, if you want to remember, if you want meme information, that we got a newsletter called Good Morning Crypto. The guy that writes this is this guy that writes this is a he's a real fucking DJ. And he's a real, real, real DJ. And so if you want meme information, you can subscribe to this newsletter. It's absolutely free. Also, I mean, while we're here, let me just remind the guys. We this show is actually a sponsored show. The meme coin show is a sponsored show. One of our sponsors on the show is someone that I think you all like. Uh, it's Punky. Uh, these are this is a, a meme. This is this is bigger than a meme coin. This is a, a meme, a complete meme. Here, degenerate monkey on Sol. Um, great team, amazing, amazing, amazing utility I, that they're I, building. I have a big, I have a big bag of punk. I have a big bag of punk. We yeah, love I mean, we They've love got a Solana valid. They've got a Solana punk. validator. They've got a giveaway. They've got a, a giveaway. They're doing uh, uh, eleven. It's not thirty days, but it's eleven of it. They're doing thirty giveaways. I love this one. I think the market cap when I looked earlier was about thirty million. But let's check. Let's check it again. Um, market cap twenty five million dollars. Um, guys, thoughts on Punky? Uh, so let me let me tell you why I love Punky. Okay, they've been. You want to look for teams that have been around since they launched. They launched back in December, right? They've been around hustling since they launched. They've been. They've had multiple exchange listings. They have the best graphic artists in the game, constantly putting out content. Their Twitter is active twenty four seven pumping out memes it's just when when normies come here when people look at a coin when you want to ask yourself is the team there and is the content there and is the content bullish and they have all these things lined up like it's, it's they, they have they I, I can't deny out of all the memes that i'm holding they have one of the best contents out there wow okay that's great and, and they're one of the sponsors there. and they're one of the sponsors of the show which is great so it, it actually worked out well all right i'm kicking the ball back into hey, your just, to your well, guys I'll, give me I'll, give me some, give me something else give me something else uh, so I want to talk about Myro. Okay, Myro. Myro the dog. That's Raj's dog. Um, for Myro those of you, oh, hold on a second. I lost you guys. So Myro is Raj's dog. For those people who don't know, uh, let's try and just quickly get. Myro is Raj's dog. We love Myro. Uh, it's about 380 mil market cap. If you're looking on Death Screener right now, uh, I call this. I've been holding it since one million dollar market cap, and. Um, Dude, what a ride it's been! It's it was one of my first major calls on Solana, where it's one of my my you know one of my biggest hits, honestly. 380, oh, 380 uh, million dollar market cap for Rogers Dog. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm one of the top holders over there, and um, it's, dude, it's it's really clear to see where this thing is going. I mean, the the narrative on on every chain right now, if if you you know, um, is the is, is you know the, the pet of the owner of the chain. You know, so yes. when that's a big narrative on crypto. So when you see yes. that, this is the first one that launched. This really set off that meta of uh, of pet owners, pet owners meme coin. Does, so does, does, the the matter? does the chain matter? Does the chain matter? Does the chain matter? Like, like, for example, let me tell I, you, let me tell you why it matters and why Solana coins are do have an advantage over Ethereum. I do believe a lot of the whales are on Ethereum, but uh, on Solana, there's there's no fees. And there's less there's less tools for people that are like for example if you're buying something on Ethereum early there are people sniping launches and they're essentially holding a lot of the supply and they keep the price down because as the price goes up they're they're selling on all these new buyers so the price gets suppressed right and it's hard to find new buyers after those the, after all those buyers bought they're out of money who, who I believe was left they're they're all gone that's it so it's killing a lot of new launches on Ethereum so what about has yet to catch up to yeah, so Solana Ethereum has Solana is uh, Solana. Fees like this, the fees are so low. People could literally ape five five dollars, ten dollars. You're gonna get yes. way more holders on Solana on a Solana coin than you will on an Ethereum coin. And let me exactly. tell you something: these you you want, when you when you think of holders on a meme coin, you think you think of the army behind it. On Ethereum, Soldiers. let's say you have let's say you have two thousand holders. You only have two thousand people talking about the coin. If you look at Myro, I don't know how many holders they have, but there's let's say there's fifty thousand holders, right? You have fifty thousand people talking about this one coin. The, the greater exposure is there. Yes, yes, exactly. yes, 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 guys. I see that a lot of you are subscribing. Thank you. If you want to see more of Gustavo, Gustavo's gonna have his own meme coin show uh, on this channel. So just subscribe, <laughs> subscribe, subscribe. Go, 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 go. Uh, all right. Uh, so we like Myro. 
Um, do you think Myra can get the same market cap as Bunk? Um, I mean, Bunk's got two billion. My, uh, sorry, uh, not Bunk. Uh, um, yeah, Dog with hat. Sorry, Dog with hat's yeah. got two billion. Um, Myra's yeah. got three hundred and fifty million. It will catch up to with very soon. Myra's wow. got my opinion. Okay, what else do we like? Yeah, we like Myra. What else do we like? Myra's a good dog. I have another bag. Uh, right now, I'm holding a bag of Peng. P -E -N -G yes. On Solana. Okay, Peng so. Was well, it's not pay, well, it's bullish. not exact. So again, I, I, again, I just want to say that the, these guys are also one of our sponsors for the show. So, we, and we're not talking about them. I mean, you, you guys didn't oh, even know that. You didn't even know. You didn't even know. Yes. You didn't even know they were one no of the idea. sponsors. So yes. So this is Peng. Uh, apparently, yeah. Peng is from the same family as penguins. That is that's the rumor. Is that true? Yes. Yes, and yes, they're doing an airdrop, and they're doing an airdrop to penguin holders, right? They're doing an airdrop to penguin holders, right? Oh, 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 oh! oh you're talking about pudgy penguins? Yes. Yes, uh, uh, I heard they're doing an airdrop to to, to pudgy holders. I, I don't believe that they they're two separate entities. They're not the pudgy penguin team. Yes, they're but not. They do love the pudgy penguin. Yes. They are inspired by the pudgy penguins. But they're also inspired by Pepe. It's, you know, if you look at that meme, it's a very familiar meme uh, because it looks like Pepe. And, you know, growing up, uh, I think a lot of children, you know, they watched Batman and that, you know, in the movie, there was the I penguin. Uh, there was all kinds of penguins growing up in, in cartoon shows. So penguin is a bullish character that, you know, I'm speculating a lot of people are bullish on. Aside from that, the content that the team has been putting out for Peng is just incredible. These and they've got a partnership. They have a partnership with uh, Gotbit Fund. This is the fund that, that, that yeah, which yeah. is they, they bought like, Myro and Bonk like, to life. And and I mean, uh, also I think one thing we should notice exactly. about Peng: twenty million dollar market cap in four days. I mean, that's that shows you a lot of acceleration, it's insane, right? It's insane, it's insane, man. And you when when you're looking to buy a meme coin, you want to look for teams that are putting in this type of work because you know it's only going to go higher. And you know, for something to go to twenty mil, it, it literally went there, and in, in within uh, within twenty four hours, and uh, ten thousand holders, forty eight hours, and say. ten thousand holders. They yeah. already they already have ten thousand holders. They have as many holders as Vitalik's cat. They already have ten thousand holders. Okay, I mean, yeah, uh, this so one this one makes sense. They have, they have they have the the market makers on on board. They have the exchanges on board. Like these are no brainer trades where you could comfortably buy and say, okay, the team is spending way more money than they probably made on the coin right now they're not going to sell on you the holders are, are holding because they believe it's going higher and you know none of these coins like whiff went to a billion over two three days these things take months and months of time of exchange of hands consolidation new buyers and, and all of that you know i believe paying is going higher gustavo what do you think gustavo is our resident in banter expert on uh, on memes i what agree I agree. I think everyone should bet on cuteness, cute, okay. cute cats, cute dogs, cute penguins, etc. All right, I'm with you. Look again. I'm not. I'm not a DJ. This is not not my 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 field of expertise. Um, let me ask you another question. Pulse chain. It, like as as meme coin traders, how do we feel about Pulse chain? I personally cannot <laughs> give you my opinion on it, but I will tell you this. I will tell you this. There is a large large community there of believers and and they're very loud on twitter they're very loud and, and and that's why i'm asking yeah, because because i'm asking because i know of a token that is launching on pulse chain and i'm debating whether i should get in or not it's called todd retard like tard like like you're a retard <laughs> it's called todd it's great the, the, <laughs> graphics are, the graphics are great everything's great um the only thing is when i heard it was on pulse chain i was like on the one hand pulse has got a very 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 loyal community but i don't know i mean it is that's why I'm asking? Is it a turnoff? Like, if I tell you something's on Todd is, uh, on Pulse Chain, is it a turnoff? Does it like do you then go, oh well, it doesn't sound so good? It's it's probably I, I, one of the I best. It's it's, it's very it's risky. Can I just say it's yeah. very risky? Yeah, but ahead. in the case that Richard actually wins the case, Jesus Christ, those memes will absolutely explode. But it's okay. very risky. Okay, cool. Uh, my, Eric, my, what do you think? I, my, my um yeah i'm personally not on post chain either so like poe said i can speak about that from experience but yes uh to his point there's a lot of people who are in my dms talking about post chain uh and they have a, a a crazy community so you you can literally see a chain that is dead there's no activity on there in terms of like meme coins and then literally overnight it's the most popping place to be we just saw that recently with blast so I'm
That's uh, that's that's Todd uh, coming onto my screen. Okay, I was trying to, I was trying to download something and a song came on, but that's gonna give us a copyright strike, so so we actually can't play it. Uh, all right, uh, back to you guys. Which which other memes do we like? I'm 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 here. I'm not driving. You guys are driving. I, I, I want to talk about I have a meme. I want to talk about a low cap have, meme that I'm holding. Okay, uh, Eric, you want to go first? Yes, yes. Trump, Trump, Trump's a uh, Trump's a sure it's... thing. Trump's a fucking sure thing. Come on, Trump has to be sure. a sure thing. And, and that's another no-brainer. Uh, no another bagging. Um, and I actually know exactly how much I put into Trump because I only bought it once, and I put in it was a uh, 1.5 ETH, which I believe was uh, like two thousand dollars, and now it's worth five million dollars. Sorry. Um, and to yeah, so I have a five million dollar bag in Trump. I'm one of and the a, top holders there. And a five million dollar bag in 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 Harry Potter, Sonic, Obama, Inu. What the fuck yes, am I doing yeah. wrong? What the fuck? What are we doing wrong here? So you, and Rand, okay. and Rand, let me tell you something. He, he has no, he has no, no intent in selling anytime soon. Oh, jeez. Okay. So, I mean, look, Trump's a no-brainer because you know, with him, Nikki Haley dropping out of the race, he's going to win a lot of victories between between now and and the end of the elections. What happens if he loses the election? What happens if if Biden wins the, the election? Then what happens to the to the meme? I think that we would say, you know, that the election was stolen and Trump would keep running. I think Trump, uh, <laughs> no, Trump, <laughs> Trump is crazy because see, Trump is, is not just a meme coin anymore. It's a movement. There is something called PolyFi, which is a new meta in the meme coin space. And Trump is the pioneer of that and the leader of that by far. And just to, just to put context around that, just yesterday, Trump donated half a million dollars to, to veterans and to fight human tra uh, child sex trafficking. Five million dollars, or half a million dollars, I'm sorry, in one day. They've already donated about $1.3 million to those things. So Trump is a movement. How are they getting that money? They have a 1-1 one -one tax. So every time there's a buy and sell, they're generating revenue. They're doing tens of millions of dollars in, vo in, in trading volume every day. So if, if you want to talk about something that has the potential to take center stage and for to resonate with more than just the degenerate, you know, people like us who like cute animals and weird creatures like my PFP, Trump, Trump, Trump is really going to take center stage for the reasons that you mentioned, which is, hey, you have, you know, the, this whole political thing that's going on and the election and all that. But again, everybody knows Trump. Everybody recognize, re recognizes Trump, whether it's, you know, young people, you know, or old people. So Trump is doing some crazy things again. But only if he wins the elections. Only if you, I, I must say, like, I think if he loses the elections, I think the, the, yeah. the token. I, the, think, I, think, I think it would definitely be much more bullish if he does win the election. And I think we all know that he's definitely going to win the election. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be a landslide victory. You know, I, I want to agree with you, but I also know that the Democrats, the rats play dirty, bro. And, and you know, the, the, you know, they're letting in all these illegal immigrants and the illegal immigrants are, are going to vote for them because I think that's part of the deal of letting in the illegal immigrants. And then, you know, they, they could steal the election. I've seen Elon making a lot of noise about it. So the, the part that really worries me about this election, I don't think Biden can beat Trump fair and square. That, that I don't believe can happen. But I mean, the rats. Yeah, the rats are rats, bro. You gotta, you gotta remember, you're dealing with rats. There's a, there's a card. Rat, if, if they, yeah, if yeah. they go with Michelle Obama, it's not gonna be easy for Trump. Uh, so, Gustavo, is, wanted... Gustavo, is Michelle Obama a man? My wife says Gustavo. Ma <laughs> <laughs> there's a meme coin yeah. of. There's, oh. a, <laughs> there's a meme coin of that. It's called Mike. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yes. Would you buy? Would you buy? I mean, yeah, hold on, yeah, hold on, yeah. hold on. You may be onto something here. I don't I mean, hold Mike, but you should but hold it, Mike it, it because if, it might be. Yeah, if, maybe if Michelle Obama comes in the race, Mike, Mike, Mike goes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I want to. I want to ask you another one. So I'm invested in uh, another meme coin, and if I'm if if it's a bad investment, just tell me it's a bad investment. It's the it's the meme coin on Ted on Ton, which is called Redog. So uh, R E D O. Redo. Am I? Yeah. Yeah. Redo. Am I good? Or am I bad? Redo. Am, yeah. You're good. Telegram is one of the biggest apps in the entire world. Brazil, Russia, huge in Brazil and Russia. These people might literally they might onboard like 10 million people into crypto. They're going to buy the dog. It's the guys, first what, thing they're going to see. Yes. Guys, what do you think? Guys, I know I, I, I hear Gustavo's view. I, I'm interested to hear your view. Uh, I, I, I don't know anything about it, so I can't give you my opinion on it. I'm not on ton. OK, just for, for those of you who don't know, it's called Resistance Dog. Uh, I bought it because I'm a big I'm a big fan of Telegram, the Ton, the blockchain, and that's the app. This is the this is the dog. 
Um, again, they're, yeah. they're not a sponsor or anything. It's just it's one of the few meme coins that I hold. All right, balls back think, in your court. I, let's think, I think the founder designed the dog, and uh, I, I've seen Telegram, the, the actual like Twitter page, retweet stuff about the dog. So they're actively uh, promoting it, which is bullish. Okay, guys, back to you. Uh, 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 Poe, you, you had something you wanted to talk about before Eric, before Eric told yeah, us about Trump. Yeah, I want to talk about Pepe, Pepe on Solana. Pepe on Solana. Yes. So if yes. you go to Solana right now and you search Pepe. Okay, hold on. Well, I, I lost it. So Pepe on Solana. So I go here and I'm looking, again, if you want to look yeah. for the memes yeah. on Solana, probably Bird Eye is the best place to look. So it's Pepe on Sol, right? So it's, is it this one here? Is it the one yeah, that just I, called Pepe? I, I use, I'm using, Dex, I'm, I'm using Dex Screener for this example because I want you to, I want to show you go. How, how bullish I am on it. If you use Dex Screener and you search Pepe right now, yes, uh, the first thing that's going to populate is Pepe on Ethereum. Yes, right. And the second one, if you go two down, I believe you should see Pepe on Solana. Solana. Yes. Right. Now, if you look at the date of when this Pepe on Solana launched, it was one year and one month and seventeen days old. If you okay. look at when Pepe on Ethereum launched, it was 10 months old. So this Pepe on Solana actually launched way before the Pepe on Ethereum, right? So in my my speculation is right now that Pepe on Ethereum is, you know, overvalued. We trade narratives here, right? Yes. And when we look at we, when we look at meme coins, uh we we trade narratives, right? And the narrative is this Pepe was first. It was the first Pepe to launch on Solana. So in my in my opinion, and obviously it's not financial advice. This is a no brainer trade for me because people that uh, are not on Ethereum that don't want to pay those fees that don't have, you know, the, the whale type of money, they're going to be looking for a Pepe on Solana to buy. 8.6 you know, million, chosen one. 8.8 .8 million fully uh, yeah, so market cap. I mean, okay, now it's going up because the DJs are, this but, is the interesting one. This is a very yeah. interesting one. I, I yeah. love your, Let me ask I love you guys your a thesis. question. Do you guys Thank believe you. in the thesis that cats might flip dogs? No, absolutely not. Dogs are man's best friend. Uh, men don't like men don't like cats. Men don't care for cats. If you do care for cats, that's cool. I think cats are cute. Um, but in my opinion, I, man, I know very, I know friend. very few men that don't like pussy, bro. Yeah, I mean, we all <laughs> love pussy. We all, we all love pussy, but you know, when, it to, when it comes to cats and dogs, some, some guys I'm like getting, cock getting, getting on Avex. It's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be a dog. Okay. Okay. Wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Um, so yeah, back, uh, to my thesis, back to my thesis on, yes. on Solana. Uh, this is this is a no brainer trade for me. And if you look at the chart, uh, first of all, the dev. It's it's actually an interesting story. The dev launched it, and he was been he has been in, and and you know so it, it had a little bit of a run. It went to like one million dollar market cap. It went to two million dollar market cap. It got sold off. The mm. dev never gave up. He sat in that Telegram every single day for the past year. And uh, someone sent me a DM one day and they, they, they told me the story about this Pepe on Solana. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. And, you know, we got on the Twitter spaces with the dev and he's, he's an ex-military vet. He's been working on this project for a long time. And he just had people don't notice it. Sometimes people don't find these coins. And there are people out there like me that find these coins and are able to tell these stories with our following. So when I found this coin, I think it was at $1 million market cap. Now it's on 20. Uh, less, I think it was a week or two ago. Yeah. If you look at if you look at the chart, I think around uh, the 2nd of March, I, I started talking about this. And it went from $1 million market cap to $20 million market cap. And, uh, you know, it had its run. It consolidated. You know, all the people that bought early sold off. And now all the believers are holding this floor here, and it's been holding this floor since uh, for the past five days. I would okay. say. Give me another one. Three, four days. It's okay. Been, well, or ten mil. What about it's Benji Taylor Swift cat? And, what about Benji Taylor Swift cat? Twenty million dollar market cap. This one liquidity so for. I'm up twenty x in like three days. Okay. Someone says looks like Brett on Solana launched before Brett on Base. What do you think of that? Hold on a second. I mean, uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I think it doesn't matter. It's not always about no, it did it first. Matter. It's about it did it right. And uh, clearly, yes. if you look at what Brett is doing, I mean, it's in a matter of days shot up to a, a two hundred million dollar plus market cap. The amount of holders it has, the thesis that Poe went over earlier, and something that I don't think anyone touched on is that there's speculation that at some point base is going to do an airdrop. And if they do an airdrop, we're talking I about heard the same thing. I heard the same thing. I think I heard base is going to do a token and I heard there's going to be an airdrop. I, I heard the same thing. I've got to be honest. Uh, I don't know how true it is because I'm uh, because of the regulation, but 
I heard that they're going to break the base chain completely away from Coinbase, can make it completely independent, and they're going to drop a token. I mean, again, uh, this is not inside information. This is just rumors. Uh, you know, if it's inside information, I'll be the first to say it. But this is just a rumor. Um, okay, okay. Uh, we have we have another sponsor which I want to I want to plug here. Uh, I want you guys to give me, even though they're a sponsor, I want you guys to give me your honest opinion because I think that that's that's fair game here. Yeah? That's the that's the it's Baby Bonk. Um, he's BSC's favorite dog, the most savage community in BSC. They have a, a game. The game is called Bunk Royale. Also a $20 million market cap in a matter of a couple of days. Uh, I'm, I'm new to this, but I think this one looks fucking fantastic. Baby, baby, baby derivatives have worked very well. Uh, also last cycle. So yeah, it, I think it, yeah, it could there's, explode. There's no shame. There's no shame in betting on derivatives. There really is no shame betting on derivatives. What about betting on, on BSC? Because, I mean, they're talking about BSC's favorite dog. I mean, I think... Honestly, was... I'll be honest with you. BSC, I think, is going to surprise a lot of people this cycle. Because Agreed. there are a lot of people that are coming back. And if you look at the volume... If you go to deck screeners, a lot of, thing, a lot of, a lot of things... What I, what I like to do is I'll go to deck screener. And then you pop out the left side panel. And you can see all the chains that are getting volume right now. And BSC is the third is, has the third most third highest volume right now. So uh, where do I go? I, I go here. Yeah, yeah I see. Yeah, Ethereum, Solana, yeah. BSC. That's where yeah, it is. I, I see it. Thing. On, on uh, BSC, BSC, I have I have two have words. words. I have yeah. two words. Come rocket. It's going to explode again, no doubt. Think so? Because that, it was it was old Elon. Old yeah, Elon. Elon made this meme happen because he started tweeting about yeah. it. It went to like a hundred or two hundred million in just a couple of days, and it was all retail wow. fueled. And these yeah. people, and it's already started exploding. I Gustavo, actually don't have any. Gustavo, I can't tell you the level of excitement in the chat here about the fact that you're doing a show, that you're going to be doing your own meme coin show. These guys are going <laughs> fucking crazy. These guys are, I, just, I think we're going to have a sensation on our hands. Guys, remember, 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 uh, Gustavo is going to be on this channel and the main channel. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that you're subscribed to this channel and the notification bell is on because... If you're not on this channel, we don't tell you when we're going to come on because we just come on weekends and stuff like that. And the only way you need to put the notifications on, that's the only way you're going to get it. All right, guys, balls back in your court. I want another. I, look, I want to say this. Uh, okay. I feel like I feel, I feel like we've degened here, but I don't feel like we've dirty degened. Like I, I still feel we could go dirtier. Uh, let's, we can go let's, dirtier. Let's dirty, let's dirty degen. I got a coin that I've been holding since the last time we've been on the show. Okay. okay. I have two actually. I, I, I have ten coins that I'm holding this list, but I, there's two that I want to talk about in particular. One is Kabosu. Kabosu. Kabosu Inu on Ethereum. Okay, so K K how do I spell Kabosu. it? K A B O S U. Kabosu Inu, and that's it's on Ethereum. So it's that's on the Ethereum. one. Yeah, Kabosu. That's the one. It's got a four point eight million, million dollar market. market. That's the Okay, but you yeah, said you held it since the last. You, you said you held it since the last show. I think I've been holding this for, uh, since two, for two years. I think maybe twenty three. No, one year. One year. Surely, surely. I mean, it hasn't worked. Surely, we must just throw it in the, in the garbage and 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 throw it away. Uh, why? Because it hasn't worked in since the last cycle. What makes you think it's going to work now? Oh, oh, oh no! I have, we didn't have this. We didn't have a last cycle yet. We're going into ah, this cycle. Okay. Look okay. at it. The last cycle, it went up to it went up to five, six mil. Let's say I would say right. But this cycle, uh, who is Kabosu? You have to ask yourself. You have to know your memes. Who is Kabosu? Kabosu is Doge. Kabosu is Doge, right? So, uh, and and Doge, the the actual dog behind Doge is Kabosu, right? Kabosu Mama on on Instagram is very active and with millions of uh, hundreds of thousands of followers. And the dog is sick, and I do, uh, I do think in the future, in sometime in the near future, this dog will pass away, and people will be betting on Kabosu as a main character. Wow. I mean, if you if you look across the board for meme coins as a general as a whole, why are we all here? Because these dog coins brought us here, right? Kabosu, Shiba Inu, uh, Floki. These are all the dogs that made meme coins possible. And the name Kabosu itself is the very dog that I believe started this whole meta. So it's for me personally, I've been holding this. I'm going to continue to hold it. And I believe that Kabosu will have its day. All right, let's go. Next one. Uh, po, I want one from you, brother. Next one, uh, we have Bobo. Bobo on Ethereum. Bobo on Ethereum. Okay, tell me why you like Bobo on Ethereum. Gustavo, before like Bobo, before man. he says, before he tells us, do you like Bobo on Ethereum, sir? 
Uh, to be honest, not that much. But I, I think it can go up a lot. I remember there's this guy called Big Dick Bull 69 I love his uh, Twitter account. And he rugged Bobo, I think, a couple months ago. Big Dick Bull 69 That's a different Bobo, bro. Uh. That's a different Bobo. There was two Bobos. Bobo? There was two okay. Bobos on Ethereum. <laughs> there was two Bobos on Ethereum. There was one. Is this the right IP. one? Is this That's the right one? $40 million market cap. Is this the right one? Yes. Okay, so tell me why we like the, tell me why we like Bobo. Okay. We we like this why because the creator of the meme actually supports the meme. His name is Rektakashi. He's the creator of the meme Bobo. He was inspired by mm -hmm. Pepe. Bobo is a bear, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Bobo is a bear and he's inspired by Pepe and he, uh, unlike unlike the last Bobo that launched and rugged, this guy has been around since he launched last year. And uh, it's being supported by a lot of a lot of people on Twitter right now, and they really believe it is going to pull up some numbers near <clears throat> near uh, Pepe because it is the bear version of Pepe, and the memes are fire. If you go through this guy's Twitter, this guy is what's a, his Twitter? Guy, let's go there. Let's, let's go there. What's it? What's his Twitter? Rec uh, you could you could go to the go to the main Twitter Bobo Coin ETH on, on Bobo Twitter. Bobo the 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 memes Coin ETH. There we go. Okay, I found him. Oh, I know this bear. I, I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. I, 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 I know exactly, exactly what you're talking bro. about. I, I'm, yeah, I know really exactly. Bear, bro, yeah, the yeah. content that, that I have, I literally have, I have access to his to his content folder with all of his memes. Mm -hmm. This guy's a genius, bro. The memes, the art that this guy creates is, is it's just amazing. And that's something that I really look for when I like a meme. Okay. Is is the content there? Is the art there? Is it funny? And this just hits all those tickers. All right, uh, Gustavo, 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 hit me with, uh, with one. This one I like. Before, before Gustavo does, I just want to show you guys one thing. Because of people like us, because of people like you guys, on Banter Bubbles, we actually added in a filter. So I want to show you how it works. I want to show you how it works. You go to filter and you go to memes. So you see, we literally gave, we made it the first one. You click here and you can literally, you can set it. So when you open your Banter Bubbles on your app or on your desktop, that you just get all the memes. So you can actually see the memes. If you guys are meme coin traders, all the memes are over here. You can you can filter, et cetera, et cetera. All right, Gustavo, back to you, sir. So I this one I leave for last on purpose. So I'm betting very, very hard on this thesis that retail comes and instead of going woof, they're gonna go meow. And okay. everyone's gonna be catched by surprise. Okay. And this one is my last call. It's called Le Meow. Le Meow. It's this is the one that you're, this you're is the one that Kyle Dupes is going to retire on. Is, is that the one? <laughs> yes, yes. Kyle Dupes made more well. money. <laughs> everyone, <laughs> everyone at Better is going to retire on uh, Le Meow. Le Meow. Yes. Okay, who is Le Meow? So this is the way cats laugh on the internet. Instead of Le Meow, it's Le Meow. Uh, even people like Eric Snowden, Le Meow, uh, on Twitter sometimes. And uh, I'm super bullish on Meow because it comes from this thesis by GCR, which is an amazing trader. And he said, Oh, goodness. Okay, yeah. We, <laughs> I mean, that could have given us a copyright strike very quickly. That could have been a very quick, a very quick copyright strike. Okay, carry on. And uh, basically, GCR said that he, he believes in a cat flipping. And cats will flip dogs, and everyone on crypto Twitter, everyone that's in crypto will be surprised that retail is just going to bid all the cats. And it's going to happen fast, and it's going to be like a furious rally, and all the cats are going to explode. And betting all the meow is betting on that thesis. Okay, okay, fair enough. You see, these guys are such trollers; they don't even have a website. When you click on their website, you literally go to Rick Troll. This is where this is where they fucking take you. Uh, <laughs> okay, Eric, your your last one before we go, because we got to we got to cut this uh, soon. Eric, I'm giving you. I want to. I want. But I want to feel dirty after this. I really want to feel dirty. I don't feel dirty enough. I'm gonna give you something uh, dirty and funny as fuck. The, 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 uh, I discovered this meme because when you tweet, the way that this culture works is people will raid your your comment section and just shill you different memes. Uh, and one I came across was Domin. Domin. D, D, D A U M E N. Domin okay. Frosh. Domin okay. Domin Frosh. Okay. I see it. I see it. It's this one over here. So it's got a market yes. cap of uh, $11 million. Okay. This is dirty shit. This is dirty, dirty, dirty shit. You gotta look at their Twitter. You gotta look at their Twitter and just look at the fucking memes. What's the, the memes Twitter? What's the Twitter? What's the Twitter called? What is it? Uh, let's see. Uh, probably he just type in the ticker Domin. How do I spell it again? D. D A U 
M E N. Every time I have to spell this, I have a hard time doing it. I'm Is it Dom and Frush? Dom and Frush. There we go. There we go. Yes, that one. These memes, these guys are next level when it comes to creating content. Yeah, yeah. yeah. These, guys these guys are good. These guys are good. These guys are good. Holy shit. These guys are good. Um, Okay. And the market cap of this is under $11 million. This is $11 million. It was 10 million a second ago, but the DGENs are obviously DGENing. Um, before we go, I want to show you something. Uh, I want to show you something. So we do have one more sponsor on the show. And uh, I want to show it to you because I think it's it's uh, it's not your typical meme uh, sponsor. Let me just find all my... Hold on. I had, I had, I've got so many things going on here. Here we go. So... It is this game over here. It's a game on Pulse Chain. It's called Blaster. Um, it's it's this is actually the game that Elon created when he was twelve. So they've recreated the he game. Wants game. Yeah, they've they've recreated Blaster on Pulse Chain. Um, apparently, the team is spectacular, unbelievable, unbelievable team. Um, they've got amazing rewards. You can you can apparently you buy Blast, you stake your Blast, and you claim Pulse Chain. Um, and this, the the main thing about this game is that you don't need any Web three onboarding. You basically just play it here on the website. So um this is this is a it looks interesting to me you guys told me you're not the biggest pulse chain but remember pulse chain does have a massive 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 crazy ass community so check it out join blaster.com that's what it's called by the way all the links are, are in the in the thing here um should we do one more just for shits and giggles let's do one more let's do one, one more, more one more i got i got one more and you're, you're gonna love it it's called tremp and it's tremp. donald trump mean onslaught tremp it's a Donald, it's the most redacted, retarded Donald Trump meme you will ever see in your entire life. Okay, hold on a second. Check it out. I'm quickly. I love the retardio method. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going. It's called Trim. Trim. It's called Trim. And we are going to make memes great again. And we're going to build the wall. And if you look at the chart, it's a wall here. So 16.5. Yeah, we're building a wall on the chart. 16.5 million dollar market cap. Yeah, yeah. Go to the Twitter, man. Go to the Twitter. I want you to okay. see the memes. It'll I'm going to go there. I'm going it's straight to Twitter. I'm going T R E M P, Tremp. A T R E. Hold on a second. Why, why is it stopped now? Hold on a second. T R E M P. Donald Trump underscore Okay. Donald Trump underscore skull. Here it is. There you go. Ah, I like it. I love it. I love it. I fucking love it. I love this one, bro. I love it. I love oh, it. Come on. This is a no brainer. We we love Trump. We're crypto boys. You know, we're we're not we're not Biden Biden pussies. We fucking love Trump and we love Trump. Okay. <laughs> it's it's, Fair it's enough. that easy, bro. Fair it, enough, guys. It's that fucking easy. Guys, can we make a can we make a can we do can we uh, make a commitment right now? So today is Saturday. Can we agree to meet here again? Not next week Saturday, because I'm in Dubai, but the following Saturday and do this again. Absolutely. All right, so we're gonna meet you. We're gonna meet you. We're gonna meet you. We're gonna meet you. Not this, not the next coming Saturday, because I'll be in Dubai. And by the way, on that Saturday, Gustavo will do a meme coin show. But we'll meet the following Saturday again with the four of us, and we'll degen into filthy memes. Remember, guys, if you're not already subscribed to Crypto Banter Plus, subscribe to Crypto Banter Plus. Also, uh, if you want to join in and on, join in on the fun uh, with us, there's a lot of stuff here. You can sign up to exchanges. You can win the banter bags. You can win one of app, seven Apple Vision Pros. There are links below. Just go and do it. And also, if you want to visit any of our sponsors that we spoke about, they're all over here. Love you guys madly. I'll see you guys again in two weeks' time. Gustavo, I'm very excited to have you here on Banter doing incredible, incredible shows. Josh is telling me to read something. He says, uh, must check if Baby Bonk chart two Show charts of Baby Bonk and Blast. Okay, so let's look at Baby Bonk. Someone says just you got to look at the charts quickly. Uh, let's go here and look at Baby Bonk. Baby bonk charts, baby, baby bonk. Okay, hold on a second. Is it? This? Yeah, we go. Hold on a second, baby. Hold on a second. Let me let me just get the guests back and get the, get the baby bonk charts. Where is the best place to check the charts, guys? Where is the best place if I want to? Is it deck screener? Dex is tools it and deck screener. How do you just? I like, like deck screen. I personally use deck screener. Okay, so we have yeah, I mean we have the chart here. Oh, okay, I, I understand now why they wanted me to look at the baby bonk chart. It looks unbelievable. And someone said also check the blast star chart. Okay, so let's go check the blast star chart. Uh, B L A S T A R. But that one you have to check on. Um, hold on, no, that one you have to check on. Where do you check pulse chain memes? That's the question. Yeah, I think it's here. It's here. It's, it, I think here. Yeah, check it out here. Yeah. Blast. Let's just have a look here. 
Ask the guys to send me a, a, a thing, Josh. Ask the guys to send me the blast out chart. All right, guys. So we're going to meet you again in two weeks. Um, yeah, to the community. Beautiful. Thank you for thank you for hanging out with us. Remember, you do know that memes are a very, very, very uh, uh, dangerous game. As all of the guests have said here, very, very, very few of them are investments. Um, a lot of them are just trades. Uh, remember that if you are getting into these things, you know that they can go to zero. We bring you these shows to try and show you the culture, but we're certainly not telling you to invest in the stuff. Uh, although we are in, well, you can say we are traded. We are invested in the stuff. Love you guys, Maddie. See you guys again in two weeks. Until then, everyone, trade well, my friends. God bless.